I'm here at the Western Mechatronics Mecca Mayhem 2024, and it's a wonderful gathering. Robotics clubs, schools, and organizations all across the province meeting and competing and doing some wonderful things. I understand that this is the biggest gathering in all of Canada, and it certainly is obvious from the crowd that is here. We have 136 teams coming here to Calgary for a weekend long of robotics competition. They also have an opportunity to meet people down the line who will tell them that, hey, you know, robotics is not just a middle school, high school thing. It's something you can pursue as a career, something you can pursue into school and post-secondary. So the fact that we have universities, you know, local tech companies, robotics companies here, just sort of adds to the excitement and the opportunities that the students have here in Alberta and Calgary. So the purpose of these signature events are to give teams a world-class experience who may or may not go to Worlds. The bots you see today out of middle and high schoolers uh, is nothing anywhere near what we saw you know, back in 2009. You know, even what you would call maybe some beginner level robots or what you would see at the World Championship back 10, 10 to 15 years ago. And it's really special to see what they do and, and how far it's continuing to go. Uh, sky's the limit for what's in the future, but we don't know until we provide these opportunities for these kids in 10, 15 years. You know, what's seen today might be basic compared to what we'll see 10 or 15 years down the road. Robotics opens so many doors for our students. We put them in a pressure cooker. We give them a two minutes of, you know, a pop to compete and show us months upon months of work. So they have to learn how to handle problems on the fly, how they have to collaborate with people that they did not choose to collaborate with. And all of that turns into our students becoming very adaptive, also very good at dealing with hardships in life. And that's just the competitive side of things. The hours of work that they do is learning how to build on a team, learning how to cope, learning how to solve problems in very ingenious, very clever ways. So it's more than just a tournament, right? Sure, there's a competition, there's a spectacle of winning, but what's really here for the students is the opportunity to learn and improve. Is they take their robot designs and they get to test it against some of the best teams against the world, and they learn what to fix. They see, all right, this is what works, this is what doesn't work, here's what I can change for the next event, and as a result, they're able to continue to iterate and use the design engineering principles to improve their robots, and they do this willingly. They want to improve because they want to perform at that next tournament. Robotics competitions are incredible opportunities for students to live in a competitive environment that isn't necessarily sports related. They get to be head-on-head -head competitors with other teams. They get to build something and they get to learn more about the process in adjacent to sports in the STEM space. This is the first time I've ever attended a robotics competition and um, it's actually blown me away. It's really impressive the level of skills that these teams have and they use and the excitement that they have for the technology and the robotics is super exciting to see. And I think the support the organization um, has a passion people have 